Mortal Kombat! Welcome to Let's Play Mortal Kombat the Arcade. Yes! What? I'm about to say for the NES, dang it. Mortal Kombat Arcade. This is Ron Morlong with J-Man and Purple. Alright, well, we're already in action. Uh, cage is getting caged. Yeah, and Gentry recorded this, but I'm going to pretend like I'm raiding. <laughs> <laughs> So this was supposed to be done like a year ago. It's been unlisted in the S2K channel back in January 23rd, 2013, and I forgot all about it. All right, so uh, this is uh, this is way more uh, backlisted than uh, Mega Man 4. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, Pony J Man. No, whatever. Uh, <laughs> That is not J-Man. Uh, he looks much better than J-Man, so... Oh, no. whatever. No, I don't think so. Here's, here's Evil Jeff. Oh, don't even... I'd rather be called him than, than Jeff be called him. Come on. Finish <laughs> <laughs> moves to sleeper hold. So, yeah, I mean, Mortal Kombat, I mean, definitely was really hyped up back in the day and from what I heard it wasn't even meant to be awesome it was just like a quick cash in but it turned out to be better than people thought yeah it was a uh, yeah it was a little cheap uh, answer to Street Fighter 2 I was a big Street Fighter fanboy back then so I would argue with a lot of people when I was in 6th grade Street Fighter's better than uh, Mortal Kombat is because they got finishing moves and blood Street Fighter does it you gotta love the blood yeah. All right, now there's there's Jamie. Oh. <laughs> no, that's Angel. That's Angel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to say he looks kind of Chinese. No, honey, that's you back there. But this is back there. Right? No, <laughs> shut up. That's, <laughs> like I was saying, he looks Chinese, but he could be Mexican. <laughs> okay. Now, who is y'all's favorite characters in this game? Um, Goro. I was about to say Shang Tsung or Shang Tsung when I was a kid I thought it was Shang Tsung she's just a, a fangirl I am I cannot lie about that one oh there's purple back there hell yeah I wish I wish right oh <laughs> what do you mean you wish <laughs> well she said it first <laughs> and then I say it and I get in trouble that's great <laughs> <laughs> Double standard much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's a good fight right here. Liu Kang is pretty cold, but his finisher move sucks. Now, not this. Obviously, the CPU don't always do the finisher move, but his finisher move is like the super uppercut or something stupid. And that's, It makes sense, though, because he's a Shaolin priest, and they don't murder people. <laughs> See, look, I whooped ass. I told you that was me. Yes, the pit stage. Yeah. Now the one I played though most when I was a kid was the Genesis version. Didn't really get to play the arcade version at all. I'm I'm hoping that someone gets knocked off of the stage and down into the, the killer spikes. Because that was the <laughs> awesome part of this game. Let's see. No, ah, come on, Gentoo. Oh, <laughs> well it wasn't my fault, I just died. That's why Gentoo's not in this LP, because we're pissed off at him for not <laughs> Up and cutting yeah. the spikes. Well, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> the more than knock on wood, freaking broke through it, and uh oh, now we're in trouble. <laughs> and I do believe that's uh, Shang Tsung in the uh, background there. That's a uh, Bill from Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, I think that's where they got this movie from. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Scorpion is real popular. Probably the most popular character in this game. He was really... Oh, yeah, get over here! Yeah, and now on, and on the SNES version, I, I think it was, Come here! Well, they had... Uh, it, I, I do remember from the arcade, it was, Come here and get over here. Yeah. And boy, was the Super Nintendo a disappointment. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's kind of like Sunset Riders. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I mean, it, it was very disappointing in Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat, and obviously Nintendo was behind that, but they realized how much sales the Genesis version got, so then in Part 2, they're like, alright, just pull out all the stops. I, 
I will tell you this. I, I preferred Mortal Kombat um, when it first came out uh, to Street Fighter 2 because, like, they kept doing Street Fighter 2. Um, yeah. But then when uh, Killer Instinct came out, game over. Yeah. Now, here's my favorite character in the game, Sub-Zero. He's cold. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. He should have been like, freeze, bitch. <laughs> now, is his finishing move on the Genesis version the same as on here? I don't know. Because that, that was a cold, no pun intended, cold-blooded finishing move on the Genesis. Just rip out someone's spine like that. When I first heard about it, I thought he'd just rip through your back. Like, punch through your back and then pull out your spine, spinal cord. But no, he'll like take your head off with it and then your spinal cord's dangling down through the neck hole. I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty ECW. Right. Yeah, so awesome. you, remember, you remember that movie, I guess. And purple, yeah, here she is, purple versus Gen 2. Uh, purple's a big fan of Mortal Kombat. No, it's, uh, that's green. <laughs> uh, green. <laughs> no, because you can't, you, you wouldn't be able to hear him. His, no, his, <laughs> his, his, well, okay, but his baby brother uh, made him have a sex change. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, the the whole Raiden, like, what the heck? And it's, I think it's John Tobias or Ed Boone just yelling out gibberish. Probably. Well, let's let's not get, even get into the movie. <laughs> Please, let's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, here we go. Got to break. Oh, up. he's stoned. Uh oh. Dun, dun, dun. What a shocking fight this is. I love the stage um, right here on Genesis version because the uh, this art, the music in the arcade version right here is it's not even really audible. You can't really, and it's no memorable tunes to where it's to get stuck in your head. So I was real disappointed in the music in the arcade version. <laughs> wow. Lol. Yeah, so I mean, you know, like the, the AI is smarter than that. It's like, I'm not going to move, idiot. Dang it, Gen 2, quit trolling. <laughs> Th video's thumbs down now. Bye, J-Man. Thanks a lot, Gen 2. Well, I mean, you know, like, if you were to play it on a higher level, you know, you can, uh, if you use MAME or whatever, you can set the dip switches, um, you can change the uh, difficulty of the game. Yep. Uh, the, the AI would have already uh, swept, it would have, uh, yeah. you know, sweep the leg. Cheap ass shit. <laughs> I didn't even right, want to be in this. I didn't even want to be in this. I'm in this because Purple <laughs> wanted to be in this shit. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I'm not a I fan did. of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> really, I'm just I'm, I like I like some things from Mortal Kombat, but <laughs> just I'm not a fan. Of <laughs> I just I want to see somebody get knocked off the ledge and then go. Ah, yes. Well, I liked Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, and that's it. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> See, J-Man's face and Jeff and we guys face down there. Yeah, actually, I, I had, uh, well, not heard, but read that that was um, developers. They put their heads yeah. there. That was Steve Ballmer killing all the developers. <laughs> See, that's what he Yeah, <laughs> developers, 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 Nate. All his spikes every time he said that. <laughs> that's him hosting the background. He's like, finish him! Well, they, they, well, I mean, they had to save it through three Mortal Kombat, so every time he said developers, it was... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, his finishing moves where he makes you sweat profusely. <laughs> uh, that's when uh, uh, they, they show the Surface laptop or whatever the fuck it is, and then it does it shuts down, and then thankfully they have another one underneath the table. Oh, his finishing moves are blue screen of death. 
<laughs> no, so Steve Ballmer's Blue Screen of Death versus uh, Bill Gates' Red Ring of Death? I don't know. Uh, versus, uh, no, the, uh, the Xbox. The uh, Red Ring of Death. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think you just said. Well, yeah, well, I meant Microsoft. But I forgot they work for the same company, or Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> actually works for him. That's what they say. Right. <laughs> but then Stuart Chappelle shows up and just sets the record straight and pones both of them. <laughs> yep. And then Jeff falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we actually stay awake for that. No, thank you, Stuart Chappelle. Yeah. yeah, he's on. He's on autopilot. Yeah. He he recorded himself beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shane soon gives you a, it gives us an I was about to say an applause. It gives us an applause right there. All right, so, we got it now. You know, I, I, I just uh, no. Please. Uh, <laughs> Like really, this would be much more enjoyable. Like if it wasn't just one character, like, and he does the same finishing move like every fucking time. It's like, come on. Like the only cool thing that we've seen was him getting beat. <laughs> and thrown and, over on yeah. the spikes. <laughs> well, not thrown, but but uppercutted. Uh, I requested you to use Raiden, so but yeah, I mean, I guess it would have been cool if we just switch it up or whatever, but. Like, this would hey, just be hey, to, like, oh, this is on YouTube, okay, yeah, I'll just watch this real quick, alright, but, I don't know, we just gotta step up our commentary. Yeah, well, I mean, this game is awesome, though, so, I mean, I think it was hard for him to find two players to record this, but, like, I know, like, low-budget reviews, like, me and Venom and The Unknown and Angel, we did two-player action with Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. That was easier, but I guess Jinchu had a hard time finding the second player. And but yeah, and I was like, at the time I was watching Mortal Kombat Arcade on YouTube, and I was like, hey, Jinchu, I like to do the LP of Mortal Kombat. You think you record it for me? Because I can't. He goes, yeah, and I request he do Raiden. Hell, we should do this. Oh God, me and you. <laughs> oh, that would be a massacre. <laughs> I know. That's why we should do it. <laughs> Probably you kicking my ass. Oh please, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you'd let me win once. <laughs> no. You just wait until I got intoxicated. <laughs> like, yeah, what now, bitch? <laughs> well, You're I'll tell you what, though. I mean, but Mortal Kombat spawned a lot of ripoffs back then, including survival arts and tattoo assassins. Oh come on. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I. Oh. Hey, you know, uh, did you did you see Red Spray? Uh, yes, I did. I, I saw part of the uh, video with all the finishing moves and stuff. Yeah, it was like what, like 2,200, <laughs> something like that, like finishing moves. And and uh, uh, friendships or whatever else there is, uh, nud nudity was. <laughs> yeah, there were there were friendships, there were courtships, there were um, court trials, there were damn. Chips, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was uh, uh, likes on Facebook, and it was all over. Oh, man. They did that back in like '94. <laughs> yeah. Honey, we should decorate our bedroom like that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but I'm gonna sleep on the bed. Yeah, no, this is J-Man and Purple fighting now. Sue gets to decorate the room however they want. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird, but like, dude, the thing is, it, 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 it looks like it says so Sonya, just on her uh, energy bar. Oh, no, it's about the. Oh, uh, but it looks it like Sonya went. Sub Zero, too. Like so. what? Sub Zero. Okay, one girl's lair. Oh, here we go. Here's the rematch. <laughs> No, no, not the bedroom. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna win. Actually, oh, well. <laughs> actually, I would have rather been uh, Sub Zero. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Alright, round three. Yeah, and we'll see. Oh, don't get frozen. Ah, oh, you did! <laughs> no, Gen 2 did. Yeah, but you, you represent you represent Raiden though. <laughs> what oh. the heck? Cool. I gonna freeze electricity. <laughs> uh, because it's He's like sub zero. Um, yeah, you can freeze why. anything. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah, well how about a uh, fighter called minus sub zero? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Didn't give her time to get ready. Comes the bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, not this. Now we got more trolling. <laughs> Did, no wonder this sat there for a fucking year. <laughs> right? What do, you, what do you have to say, woman? I was a woman That's what I have to say. That was kind of hot. <laughs> I took the, 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 grab, the grab throw and... Mm -hmm. Come on, he was see, already beat. Uh, it's, a, it's always hot when you get to see the butt. Yeah, like, like power. It's always hot in Philadelphia. <laughs> well, you know, like, uh, <laughs> why well, I, I hope that <laughs> I hope that this time he actually, you know, beats her, but then like she doesn't die like like butt down, but like dies butt <laughs> up. So like, yeah. I can see her butt as she dies or whatever. Bottoms up. Yeah, bottoms up. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. No! <laughs> How could you do that to your girlfriend, J-Man? Well, I wouldn't have done that. Oh, shoot. I would have grabbed her butt. <laughs> he's your favorite character. Well, yeah, he's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> right there. But really, like, that would be it. Like, if it was, you know... Like, if it, it wouldn't just take off a little bit of damage and of course be fair um <laughs> okay well there we go <laughs> yeah. but just really when he grabbed him was like pop 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 that would be it you got four fucking arms that would be it yep come here bitch <laughs> motherfucker fires fireballs stomps on you have a, yeah, he's pretty cool. I haven't seen his ass yet, but it's probably pretty awesome. He was undefeated for what, 2,000 years? He, he, yeah, he probably has four asses. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like eight butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> good, good thing I don't make videos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mexico. No, no, I still will, but... Damn it. <laughs> yeah, anyways, Goro's awesome. What'd you think about him in the movie? Awful. <laughs> wait, you weren't saying his face? Wait, wait, Goro or the movie? <laughs> Goro in the movie. It's just gonna be the same. <laughs> no, well, okay, Goro or the movie... Goro in the movie, or Goro outside of the movie, or the movie itself. What? <laughs> They're all anyway, Brown awful. Too. They're all <laughs> awful. Awful. Now, the Mortal Kombat movie, the first movie wasn't that bad. No, uh, Liu Kang needed a fucking haircut. <laughs> well, look, Mortal Kombat 2 Annihilation was just terrible. Raiden well, and Shao Kahn are not brothers, first of all. They needed to annihilate the, uh, well, the whole franchise. They should have annihilated the script, because that movie should have never been released. I think that was non-canon. Well, it, it, it wasn't Terminator 3. 
tell you that. <laughs> sure terminated that freaking script. Well, you know what? Uh, Goro is still kicking ass. Just backhanded Raiden right there. I'm gonna say Raiden. I keep thinking Raiden, Raiden. <laughs> Well, Raiden, Raiden, whatever, Deaden. Remember, I used to call Raiden Fatal Fury, Raiden. Yeah, well, Goro wins. Yeah. Spell, spell yeah. the same. See right here, that's like it says Raiden, because Raiden is supposed to be R-A-Y's D-E-N, I think. <laughs> now you gotta fight him again. <laughs> and Raiden's like a fighter jet or something in real life. I'm not fighting him, I am him. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Jenny vs. Jitsu. Okay. Why'd you have to make this uh, video where you got to troll and fight, use cheap tactics and stuff? And uh oh, finally. All right, and so the final boss of the game is Shane Nasu. He looks like he's floating, but well, he's a sorcerer, so I guess it makes sense. And that's the best thing that he can do is turn back into Goro. <laughs> yep. It's stupid oh. that he doesn't keep being Goro. <laughs> and that was stupid right there. He just grabbed you with Scorpion with this with the the spear, and then he didn't even uppercut. That was lame. The, the, the developers didn't figure that you would get past Goro. <laughs> <laughs> when when does he turn into Mortal Kombat? Or not? Damn it. When does he turn into killer? <laughs> Shut up. When does he turn into killer instinct? Damn it. <laughs> when does this video turn into killer instinct? Come on. <laughs> We've already done that. This game sucks. All right, here we go again. Oh, we got hit with the hot sauce. <laughs> oh, the what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say something while there's uh, silence here. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> I, uh, like, during, like, pretty much every recording that we've ever done on the SSUK, <laughs> I watch them without sound, and, um, most of the times I would say I'm glad <laughs> that I don't, but like this, <laughs> wow, I'm really glad. <laughs> well, I mean, what, you think it's worse than Green's Double Dragon 3? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because like I can imagine just Raiden going, doing the I da 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 thing. <laughs> oh, okay. And actually, okay, um, the green one, that's where I was trying the headset stuff. And so I actually did hear that. <laughs> so I can't I can't actually count that because like like I heard that while it was going on. But In conclusion, yes you're right. <laughs> Ooh, let's see here. Uh, probably about eight more minutes of <laughs> Raiden getting his fucking ass kicked. Yeah, really. <sighs> Are we allowed to DVR? Um, <laughs> this, we could. This could be a monumental uh, S2K where we just skip to the fucking end. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can do that anyway. Just skip to the ending in the video. Yeah, but like we're commentating right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we're not just watching it. <laughs> a yeah. video on YouTube silently. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, that's break. the difference because I know if if you would have recorded this, you would have you would have skipped. You would have used ECW mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, at least Gentry's doing it like a man. Uh, well, he's an old man now. <laughs> 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 no, 
<laughs> Who's that scream? Is it him or the souls he possessed? <laughs> Probably both. I think it's the viewers. I think it's the viewers saying, "Hurry up!" Well, Get this that's video over with. That's gonna be out of it. <laughs> they were uh, predicting the future. <laughs> yeah, let's just rest pray ourselves. <laughs> you don't know words to rest pray this. That's why we're quiet. <laughs> Well, it's like, I mean, like, there's nothing new happening. <laughs> it's it's just the, the exact same thing over and over and over again. So it's like, what do you say? Well, see, maybe Gentry thought I would edit this out, but I didn't, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is an awesome game, you know, and I like Raiden, you know. <laughs> I, I think he had a very good idea <laughs> in that. Yeah. You know. So this is your fault. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not gonna be Gene, Gene Snitsky and deny it. I will say it was my fault. Well, get over here. <laughs> hey, um, okay, I, I don't, I don't know who does like the uh, the the Ron Mower thing where he does the the lawnmower thing at the beginning of his videos. But could you like, if you're listening to this, could you? Put in a part where Ronnie just gets his fucking ass kicked. <laughs> it's run over by the lawnmower. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what, what was it? What would it be called? The mow down? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and, and then like put that in like right after the end of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, that, that needs that. to happen. Like that needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that, but like by the time I wake up tomorrow, I won't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> finally. Ooh, finally. <laughs> like Shang Tsung was like finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just let yeah. he let him win. He right. was like, you know what? Like, I give up. <laughs> this is getting boring. I got other shit to do. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> hey, hey, you're coming bored with the Mortal Kombat hard. competition. <laughs> Look, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Mark McFoley, have a nice day. Uh, well, I'll, I'll have a great day after <laughs> this, uh, 20 minute getting ass kicked by Goro and Shang Tsung. Yeah. <laughs> that was awful. I had something much better to say, but, uh, stupid Pamela, Ronnie's Pamela sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all posing next to each other? So this right. is all scripted. It's just like wrestling. Oh, you she see, she Sub Zero in yes, the Yes, she jumped in, punched him right in the fucking nuts. <laughs> and did a hell? cheerleader pose. <laughs> Goro, see, they let him have his own fucking screen right there. Well, who was it that acted as Goro? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's just let's discuss. Ronnie, what do you think? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I like the stage right here. Pretty ECW stage. Too bad there's no uh, stuff flying in the background, no reindeer or whatever, like the Genesis version. But anyway, Mortal Kombat, the arcade. Never got to play it when I was a kid. I mainly played the Genesis and a little bit of the sucky SNES version. But, um, but the Mortal Kombat arcade, though, freaking ECW. I mean, back then, major hype. Uh, the big debate between Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and kids everywhere were debating over which series is better. I mean, Midway did an excellent job of Mortal Kombat and I mentioned this earlier at the beginning. A lot of people said, well, it was meant to be an accident, but it turned out to be popular than it was and Mortal Kombat became awesome. And for its time though, real innovative. I mean, you know, what other fighting game at the time 
really have like finishing moves and the blood and gore that Mortal Kombat had. So I mean, Mortal Kombat for its time though, very epic. Um, even though I was a Street Fighter fanboy back then, I still liked Mortal Kombat. I remember the night I finally bought it um, for the Genesis. The very first time I ever played Mortal Kombat though for the Genesis was, uh, it was on the night where we were about to have a tornado here where I lived at, but it didn't happen. And I rented it that night, but I was very disappointed because I, ha I was having no fun with Mortal Kombat because I didn't know any finishing moves or anything, so I thought it sucked. I thought it was boring, and I was like, man, this game sucks, so I took it back to the rental store, and then I found like a magazine with finishing moves and stuff, and I said, well, now that I know what to do, maybe I should give it another chance. So I did, and I bought it, and I played it all night, did all all the finishing moves, and, and then I found out the, the dullard code down up, left, left, A, right, down, and and then the blood code, and I mean, it was epic then. Uh, now, it was awesome. And so, my main memories about Mortal Kombat is really the Genesis version, but uh, but Mortal Kombat in the arcade, I mean, it's what, you know, I mean, it, it came out in 92, and then, heck, everybody had to have it in 93, I think, when it came out, on September 93 for the consoles and so yeah I mean all the characters is just very epic for its time the finish it was really all about finishing moves and blood and gore it wasn't really all about the fighting because I mean Street Fighter really technically in my opinion is a much better fighting game there's more strategic elements to it than Mortal Kombat and of course you got Scorpions get over here and and uh, just so much cool stuff in Mortal Kombat so it was definitely an arcade hit to say the least uh, so Mortal Kombat for the arcade I have to give it an 8.5 out of 10 J-Man cool, cool. Um, I'm, I'm not really a fan of, of Mortal Kombat but I cannot deny the power that it brought when it first came out I remember being in the arcades and seeing this game come out oh and by the way on the actual arcade machine, on the sides of it, it had the finishing moves for each character. Yes. Huh. Yes. I never knew that. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I just wa I used to watch other people play each other, and that's when I noticed, like the, you know, like the the, the uppercut. You can't just do an uppercut like on the arcade game and send them down, you know, to to hit spikes. You have to like input like a different kind of uh, button pressing yeah whatever you got it command yeah there we go um, to send them down to the spikes you can't just do the upgrade right anyways um, you know I can't base my uh, dislike on Mortal Kombat just because Nintendo and Rare came out with Killer Instinct and smashed the shit out of Mortal Kombat, in my opinion. That's not the opinion of a lot of other people, and I respect that. But I cannot, I, I, I you know, I, I can't say that it was a, a bad game. Yeah, I'll give it an 8. Now, I was going to say about the pit, though. I always thought that was kind of lame. Like, input a code just to uppercut them to the pit. I mean, really? I think, just do well, a simple uppercut. I think that's great. No, well, why? Why make something harder than it has to be? I mean, just do an uppercut, and then boom, you're in the spikes. Why do a some sort of code? I can understand a finisher move as a code, yeah, but yeah, just okay, knock but in the spikes. We're, but we're talking about the arcade. You know, like, I'm, like if you only talk about uh, Mortal Kombat when it got ported to the consoles, well... No. <laughs> um, well, okay. If it if it if we're talking about then when it went to the consoles, yeah, I think that it should have been just that because well, you got a you got crappy ports. They were awful. Um, but in the arcade, I agree with that. I think that it should have been, and it was. <laughs> it's a form of censorship. No, it's not a form of censorship. The, I think the, it the, is. the ones that went went to. <laughs> The SNES and Genesis, those were a form of censorship. <laughs> you had to enter in a code to get blood. <laughs> yeah. no, it's not a form of censorship. It's just you want a real on it in the arcade. You got to put in a code to be able to like, pa, 
Uh, yeah. I guess because of the Senator Lieberman the or whoever. You know, when the when the when the Mortal Kombat machines, like when they first went out in the arcade, and when I seen them, it was people were like lined up. They put their quarters up, like you was talking about Street Fighter Two. You put your quarter up. Who's next? Who's next? Yeah. And it was just like that, but it was like, bam! If you really like, it was your turn to go come up, and oh, it's that it's that level. There was actually two of them, and then you got. Not only did you get served, but damn, you got knocked off. And, uh, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right, purple. Um. Well, you know, like Jamin said earlier, I'm a fan girl, except for the movies. But anyway, um, no, I actually never got to play it on the arcade because the boys would never let me play it. There was always somebody there. And, yeah, all I could do was freaking watch, but it was still fun to watch because they'd pull the shit out of each other, and it was hilarious. But, um, yeah, I actually you know, I enjoy watching other people play it more than playing it myself because I suck at it, and I'm a button masher. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, um, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I want to add... Observation. <laughs> Sorry for cutting you off there. Um, I want to add something else to this, and this is a big reason why I don't like Mortal Kombat, is because you can really stand there and you can go <laughs> I wish this was a video podcast so I could like, show what I'm doing, but you could bash a certain button and you could sit there and punch, 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 and you could get away with that. And it was very cheap and and it, it works sometimes, and I think that's crap. Yeah. Like, I know you can sweep and, you know, uh, like Street Fighter 2, and, uh, you know, Killer Instinct kind of dates back to, to more like Street Fighter 2. I know that, yes. Um, but, yeah, there's just some really, like, cheap-ass shit where I don't know what to do, uh, and then you can win. Yeah. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Yeah, I think that can happen with any game, though, any fighting game. People are always going to fight cheap, stay in the corner and do a crouching medium kick and all that crap. And had, Yeah, it's it, kind of hard to get around that. It had crappy AI, AI but, like, head-to-head, -head, uh, Mortal Kombat was very awesome. Yeah. All right, so that concludes this LP of Mortal Kombat, the arcade. Thanks to Jinchu for recording it. Finally, a year later, we get it done. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so... That is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. Uh, I'm the J-Man. And this is Purple. Fatality. <laughs> Let's take care. <laughs> Technicality.